First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Can you believe it? It's been two years and two days since we've had a six inch or more snowfall here in the Champlain Valley. That is a long time and I don't think we have a six inch snowfall in the next seven. Take a live look over Burlington. A beautiful scene there. The lights, the sun getting ready to rise just after seven o'clock. The temperature is 19. We do have a slight wind out of the west northwest at eight miles per hour, and that means it feels like nine degrees, so it takes off about 10 degrees from the actual air temperature. So it's a cold start out there. Nine degrees in St. J, nine in Saranac Lake, 19 Burlington, 13 in Montpelier, 20 degrees right now in Lebanon. Storm tracker scanning clear. We also have the breaks in the clouds, so we'll call it a partly cloudy sky right now. I think it remains that way for the balance of this day. A blend of clouds and sunshine. 26 the high in St. Johnsbury, 21 Saranac Lake, 27 Burlington, 29 in Plattsburgh. A few flakes of snow possible in the northern Green Mountains, but compared to the last couple days, it's really not much. Going into the day tomorrow, a different story. We're watching a clipper system that advances in, but it stays to our north. So the clouds will increase late tonight. We'll wake up tomorrow morning to clouds. Not a whole lot of snow, but watch the specks and blotches of blue that dot the map tomorrow, basically from start to finish. So we'll call for periods of snow, but it's not all that heavy whatsoever. I think if you're in the Champlain Valley, in the Connecticut River, River Valley, you may only end up with a coating of snow when all is said and done, perhaps a couple of inches in the mountains, and then we start with a lot of sunshine on Monday. So we've drawn a snowfall map for you. A coating will do in most spots in this teal shading in both of the valleys. You go up into the Green Mountains, also in the Adirondacks, it's two to four inches, perhaps four inches from Stowe up through Jay Peak, where there's usually some enhancement when you have a wind going up the higher terrain. Now, as the storm pulls away, there's actually a tight pressure gradient here late Sunday and early Monday. So we'll call for a gusty wind, perhaps gusts over 40 miles per hour Sunday night. It's a very short windy period. The wind will settle down on Monday, but it's cold. Only 20 on Monday. Now snow moves in Monday night and Tuesday. The temperature will rise consistently for quite some time. We go up to 31 on Tuesday. 31 is the low on Wednesday because we're only rising. So we go up to 45 at least on Wednesday with plain old rain. So it's probably a couple inches of snow on Tuesday going over to sleet, freezing rain, and then plain rain all the way to the Canadian border on Wednesday. And then it cools off 18 on Thursday, 23 on Friday, a big area of high pressure late next week should provide a lot of sunshine for this weekend, though. Enjoy it. That's your latest first alert forecast. Keel, back to you.